Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. We are cooking today. Um, I'm not gonna do a full meal. Did I? Girl, I didn't mean to get up here with this pimple patch on, but it is what it is. I'm up here now. We all get acne every now and then. But anyway, welcome back to another video with me, Simply Tanya Renee, where we do all the things over here. We do everything lifestyle. We like to cook, share recipes, of course. We like to do a little shopping here and there. We love to travel. Don't do it as often as I'd like to, but we do travel. Just share little tidbits of my life. So this channel, if you're looking for like one particular thing, you're not gonna find it here because I like to share a lot of things. Gardening, like I just said, cooking. So this is going to be truly like a day in your life. You know how you have a lot of things that you do? So do I. So I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy hanging out. I hope you become part of the family. Let's take this show on the Same road. Ish, different day. I'll be bored now. Today, um, we're gonna have some wine. I'm really disappointed because I wanted to exercise today. I wanted to work out. Went in the backyard to adjust the cucumber plants. I have to prune some of those leaves because they are huge and they're kind of covering the tomato plants and I need everything to get sun. And I went to step and I some kind of way rolled my knee a little bit. <sighs> Y'all, this knee, man, it's like as soon as it gets good, it'll act right for a few weeks. Then she want to cut up again. So I was supposed to do at least just 30 minutes a day. That's not going to happen. And I was just going to work out here at home with just little um, dumbbells, do something from YouTube, be done. So that means tomorrow I'm going to have to extend the amount of time that I work out from half hour, 45 minutes to about an hour. So I bought some salmon at Food Lion, right? The pieces are kind of small. I'm gonna show those to you. So, hold on. They are in the fr freezer packs. They're thawed now, but this is one piece and they're two different sizes. So I decided that what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a uh, honey garlic salmon and then the other piece is gonna be just lemon pepper. Just gonna do lemon, some pepper, and just you know, basic seasonings. And I'm gonna cook that one in the oven, and then the, the honey garlic one I'm gonna cook on the stove top. I can hear the butter melting in the pan, so I'm gonna take that off the heat because I don't want brown butter. I just want regular butter. Hold on one tight. Girl, that did not mean hold on one tight. I meant hold on a second. So I've, this is about a tablespoon and a half of butter just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. And I did use salted butter. So I'm gonna sit that there. Actually, I'm gonna sit it here. Um, and I'm gonna make my own blackened seasoning. That's primarily what I'm gonna, what I, why I wanted to get on camera. Cause I wanna show you how I make my blackened seasoning. Um, I'm, another disappointment. I bought them, y'all, how many times am I gonna get up here and complain about onions? Too many. I don't have onions to go in it so I'm not happy about that, but I do have my fresh garlic, and I'm gonna make this blackened seasoning. That's what's gonna go on the salmon. As you know, I don't really measure. I will try to find a recipe for blackened seasoning that you know shows the measurements and all of the ingredients, but I'm just gonna show you how I make my blackened seasoning. But first, we are going to have some rosé. It's one of those days. So today is the first day of the quarterly reporting period, and so, uh, these next two weeks are gonna be a lot <laughs> work-wise. So I'm gonna enjoy this glass of rosé while we make some blackened seasoning. So this is the Tres Chic 2019 rosé. Um, I think this one, is this the Trader Joe's wine? No, I don't think so. I think this one might have come from my wine subscription that I used to have. It, I do keep my rosés, my white, my white wines and my rosés stay in the refrigerator. And sometimes I also will put my, um, some of my reds in there. Not my dry reds, but I'll put my off dry and sweet reds in the refrigerator, the wine fridge. So this is 70% uh, Grenache, 30% um, Sin Salt, and it is, let me see where it's from. It's from South, no, it's from Southern France. So we're gonna get into this. Um, I do not, as you can see, have my glasses on. So they got white writing on here. So I really can't even see it. I could just barely see what it's at the top. And that's because it's more bold. And I know that's probably, you can't see because of the light. 
but we're gonna get into this wine real quick then we're gonna make this um we're gonna make this blackened seasoning we're gonna throw this salmon in this pan honey and then i already have sides cooked yesterday we had tacos so there is a whole bowl of yellow rice in the refrigerator. There's a bowl of Mexican rice in the refrigerator. I fixed two because I don't like Mexican rice. I don't eat it. So I fixed yellow rice because I will eat yellow rice. And um, there's also peas and carrots already cooked. There's a uh, fresh salad already in there. And there's broccoli in there. So I don't need to cook anything other than the fish. Ooh, I love that sound. So, ooh, she smells good. She smells nice and floral. So let's get into this beautiful rosé. Now, one thing about me, for those of you who are new here, I like rosé, but I do prefer it sparkling. Um, this one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like because I love Grenache. I love a good glass of Grenache wine. I think I actually have a couple up there on the wine rack, but Let's get into this one and see what we got going on before we make this blackened seasoning. Ooh, this smells tropical. I'm getting a lot of stone fruit. Oh, I'm getting papaya. Yeah, I'm, it's like white peaches and papaya. It smelled floral when I popped the cork out, but I'm not smelling anything floral now. Mm, it smells really good. Dog, I wish I had my glasses on so I could see. Mm. Yeah, I cannot. I can't see. But I'm, I'm definitely getting those tropical fruits. Oh, that papaya is really, really there. And a little bit of citrus. It smells really good. Y'all want to smell it? Hmm. Go ahead, smell it. Go ahead, smell it. All right, let's taste it and see. Mm. Pink grapefruit. I get pink grapefruit at the back of my palate. It's, um, mm. And I'm getting not so quite ripe berries. I'm not getting any other tropical fruits, but I'm getting berries and pink grapefruit. It's off dry, minimally acidic. That's gonna really balance out with that honey, with this honey garlic salmon. So this is gonna be good. Mm-hmm. I do like it. And I kind of figured I would because of because of the Grenache. So that's great. Ow, oh my gosh, I'm really liking this. For, and again, for those of you who are new, I am a dry wine girl. I prefer dry wines over sweet sweet wines. And that's because sweet wines, sweet drinks, cocktails. It's just not my shtick. They kind of give me a headache. So that's just me. Um, now my dad, my dad and I have similar wine tastes. Um, sometimes my wines are a little bit too dry for him, but we do have similar wine tastes. I should have gotten another bowl for my garlic skins. Hold on one second. Yeah, so uh, while we're here, if you have not checked out uh, my latest videos, if you kindly would go ahead and go ahead and check those out for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. I have a video up. The video I just posted was uh, my niece is going to high school, the youngest one, which I cannot believe that she's going to high school. Absolutely crazy to think that little baby she's the baby of the group she's going to high school it's crazy and my oldest niece is a senior what in the world man but anyway i just posted the video from her middle school culmination and then afterwards we went to dinner so i did post that 
and um, I just got back from Jamaica well, a couple of weeks ago now because my birthday was June the 13th um, we got back on the 17th from Jamaica so I did a pack with me so that you could see how I pack a carry-on because if I ain't gotta pay the money to check a bag honey I'm not gonna so I did um, that video I think that's gonna be enough garlic for that small piece of fish huh these last two cloves won't hurt um, so I did post that video um, I do have some new gardening content up just just you know sharing little things here and there about life um, I really enjoy cooking which is what made me start this whole cooking series um, I know some people are like I don't like to cook every day but if I could cook every single day I really would um, at one time I did cook every day because my schedule my work schedule was not as crazy as this one with like my reporting schedule that I have now my last job my my schedule was not as uh, demanding so I did I enjoy cooking every single day cooking is like a let uh, what do you call it not a let out it's uh, an outlet for me a let out let's sip this wine while we letting it out um so yeah so I do love to cook and if I could do it every day I would so we're gonna go in with um, I need to get a little spoon I know I'm so unprepared but this is just this is really how I end up cooking I could never be a caterer and that's because I'm like here there and everywhere but it works for me and it works for their stomachs and it works for my stomach the way I cook and they like my food so I can't complain about that now there are some dishes that I make that they're like mm, don't do that again so I don't do it again like the other day I asked them if they like um, Hawaiian chicken my husband immediately says I'll pass and my daughter was like what is it so I sent them the Pinterest and told them what and they she was like mm -mm, I'll pass when's the last time you cook tacos that's how I ended up cooking tacos so I do like to try things but anyway we're gonna go in with um, some oregano and I don't use fresh um, when I'm making the black and season seasoning I don't use fresh um, herbs I like to, I prefer dried because it just mixes better so we're gonna go in with some oregano we're gonna go in with some thyme I know this won't fit in here I forgot so we got dried thyme we have dried oregano and we have about what was that about four or five cloves of garlic and you know that thyme and oregano are very strong let me so see if I can I'm gonna see if I can slide them so that you guys can get a screenshot <gasps> as I use it oh I forgot that was not glass bottle so that was good all right um, then we're gonna go in with our our favorite two items onion powder and garlic powder and I am trying to make everything even like meaning I'm just gonna use this one spoon for all of the ingredients that's as close to a measurement as I'm gonna get <laughs> but I am like I said I promise you that I'm gonna try to find an actual measured in recipe and post it either in the comments or um, up on the screen this is onion powder And we're gonna go and I know most people use um, sea salt when they make their black and seasoning I don't really use sea salt that often I used to use sea salt but now I prefer kosher salt and the Himalayan pink salt because to me they aren't as salty as pink as um sea salt that's just my taste buds and I think I am kind of salt sensitive like I'll fix things and think it has too much salt but my husband will be like, mm, no, it's not too much. It's actually not enough. So he'll end up adding salt to his. And this is pepper, which I'm only gonna go in with half the amount of pepper because I don't want it to be super spicy because I am using some sriracha in um, as well. Y'all know, so girl, the bird just flew into the window. I tell you, these birds, man, sometimes I think y'all kind of dumb. And paprika. That 
thing flew into the window. Ciao. All right, that's the paprika. And then we're gonna go in, I hope these jars don't fall. I'm gonna be mad if, mm -mm. I ain't even gonna do that to myself because if I drop my jars, I'm gonna be so upset. Then we're gonna go in with some sriracha and this is the um, Texas Pete sriracha. And I am going to do just about this much sriracha. All right. Ooh, something's itching my eye. All right. And now we're going to whisk it all. We're going to whisk it together. Ooh, I wish I could smell it. It smells amazing. And it is because there's wet ingredients mixed in here, the wet ingredients being the fresh garlic and the um, sriracha, it is gonna be kind of chunky, more so than um, just a dry. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Close up. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the mixture real quick and easy and then now now what we're gonna do is take a sip of our wine we'll get our pan and we're gonna go with let's go with this one here and i do need to drain the the juice out of the pack i thought it had yes yeah. and i like these because quick and easy they have like a little tear a little um Perforate, well, it's only on one side on this one. Normally there's two little um, perforated pieces, but this one only has one. So let me just get the salmon, rinse this out. Pour this juice off, rinse the salmon off, and sit it in the pan. All right. It's just a really pretty piece of fish. Really pretty. And we're just gonna sit it in the pan. You know what? And I'm thinking I might just do both pieces like this. Cause I do have enough mix. I'm gonna do both pieces. Number one, because that cuts on the work, cuts out on the amount of work that I have to do. And I can always, I'm actually gonna still squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it, fresh lemon juice though. All right. Oh yeah, that fits perfectly. All right, so let me show y'all what I'm working with as far as the fish goes. So there's butter in the bottom of the pan, and then you have the fish sitting there. All right, I'm gonna turn these back around because I need to make sure that I get a really nice thumbnail. All right, so we have the black and seasoning, right? You know we're gonna do a little bit extra. We're gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika on it first. Just a little bit. All right, so I took a really good picture just now. All right. And it's so funny. This is about the wine. There's a lint in the air. I need to put on some gloves. But about the wine, really quickly, it is aerating all on its own because I'm letting it sit with the top off and it's opening up more. And just now, I got so much pineapple. The middle of my tongue, I'm getting strong pineapple. Not a sweet pineapple, but I'm getting the essence of pineapple. Wines are amazing. I tell you, wine is just like, it's such a, you can really study a lot about wine, which, you know, that's my thing. I love to learn about wine. Man, that's good. All right, so and I'm putting on gloves because I have to make sure that I get this um, blackened seasoning into the fish really good. Snap. What are some ways that you cook salmon that are not just a traditional way? Like, you know, we all cook salmon. Um, you know, grilled or whatever. But what are some ways that you you like to cook salmon? Because I like to try new recipes. So if you have an idea, let me know. So we're just gonna take this, um, take our blackened seasoning, seasoning, and we're going to put it all over the fish. Okay. 
like this. And then once this side, once what we're gonna do next is flip the fish over because the skin side has already gotten saturated with butter. So now we're going to let the actual flesh side get saturated with that butter before we cook it. And what we're gonna do next after this, after it gets the butter on it, we're going to drizzle honey on it once it starts to cook because we want to get it give it a nice glaze with the honey so we have the blackened seasoning on the fish i think that the next time i make it though i'm gonna put a little bit of actually it's not too late what i can do is right now instead of me doing that i was gonna add hold on that pepper just got my throat hold on <coughs> Um, I was gonna just add more butter, but I think that I'll just definitely flip it. I think that's gonna work for me. Flip it like that. <coughs> Man, that sriracha and that pepper, it's all up in my throat. Yeah, that, that's good. I like that. I like the way it looks. And we're gonna baste it because we're gonna add more butter as it cooks. We're gonna add just a little bit of butter. Or I might just do some olive oil just so that it can give me a good base. Did my light just go out on my camera? Hold on. I don't know why it just got dark. Like, that is so crazy. And that's a fresh battery, so it shouldn't have gotten dark like that. I don't know. But we're gonna just spritz it with a little bit of olive oil because we want a good, um, we want some baste. We want something so that we can baste the fish and so that the seasoning just doesn't sit on top of the fish. All right. There's the fish. Now we're just gonna put it on the stove and let it slowly start to cook, All right? <coughs> All right, so the fish is on the stove. I'm trying, oops, I don't know why I just did that. The fish is on the stove, as you can see. I don't know what the heck is going on with my camera, why it just got dark all of a sudden. Cannot even begin to think of what could be the problem. We're just gonna put some oil in the pan. I just prefer to place the table And I'm gonna put a lid on it. Look how dark my camera is. Hey y'all. <laughs> See how dark it is? Yeah. Huh? Does it look dark to you? A little bit, yeah. I don't know but then again, on. there's also a lot of light too. But even if I turn off the overhead light, we'll be back. So it is dark. I'm sorry about the lighting, but I don't know what I did. But anyway, the fish is cooking pretty quickly. Unfortunately, we had a little casualty. One piece broke. No. <laughs> <laughs> but other, this one looks really good. Let's see. So um, I'm gonna, hopefully Alyssa will taste it for me. Let me get the honey. And we're just going to drizzle some honey. And it's not going to be super sweet. Mm -mm, I got to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it. I didn't do the lemon. Because the fish was so small, I was like, eh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the honey garlic glaze with the homemade blackened seasoning. Mmm. We getting fancy Nancy. Fancy around these pots. All right, let's flip this one over just because we added the honey on it. And we do want the honey to cook into it some <laughs> right so now let's flip it over and like this is a super quick meal very quick does not take much or it, it doesn't take much to cook it and it doesn't take long to cook it so I'm gonna give Alyssa a piece and then I'm going to readjust the camera so that we can see faces. All right, so 
here we have try to show y'all this without trying to show y'all this now must, we light again try to show you this without making a huge mess let's see now I'm gonna let her taste a piece. I'm gonna drain the oil off though. After I take it out, I'm draining the oil off. We don't want the oil. So, is that too big? Yeah, This piece is too big? Yeah. That's smaller piece, please. Take that off the heat. Don't overcook your salmon. Don't burn your mouth. <laughs> no, because I'm quick to burn my mouth and I'm Cheers. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? Mm -hmm. Is it salty? Yeah. Is it too much honey? Mm -hmm. Too much garlic? Mm -hmm. Do I need to add anything? Mm -hmm. We got balance. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I almost broke out in the dance. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just flip this back over and oh, wait, <laughs> girl, <I'm> a... <laughs> how? How, Sway? How do people still say that? Yes, <laughs> how did the light just change? You being funny acting, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this out. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm gonna now take the fish out of this buttery sauce and add it to a container. Do I have a container in the dishwasher? Probably not, because I just emptied the dishwasher. Or not. I'm so sick of this camera being funny acting, and it's like a little square on the screen. I don't know what that is, because it ain't in my kitchen. I don't know what that little square thing is that's on the screen. Yes, I am touching the screen to see if it goes away. It did not. I don't know, man. Anyway, she's going to get a container for me to put the fish in. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of the stuff. Do I need to add more honey in here? Um, I'm just gonna add the rest of the items to the countertop. Tracking cancel, what? Girl, what is this? I don't even know what track and cancel is. I hope I'm still recording in HD because, I don't know. Added shot mark, what? I need to just stop touching the screen and leave it alone. And there you have it. Just some honey garlic salmon with homemade blackened seasoning. That's all I got for y'all today. It was Cheers. Cheers. We cheers them with popsicles and wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't made um, those mimosa popsicles in a while. I haven't made those in a while. You remember when I made those? Mm -hmm. I might make some of those. It was 4th of July the last time I made them. It was like three years ago. Yeah. I might make some more proposal. It's time for me to go, because mm -hmm. clearly I can't talk. Uh-huh. Anyway, I wish you nothing but love, peace, blessings, good eating, from my heart to yours, her heart to yours, our heart to yours and your kitchen mm -hmm. from our kitchen to your kitchen anything you want to say before we go good vibes all the time good vibes all the time remember like comment share subscribe drop down in them comments don't forget to tell me about y'all salmon and let me know what you think about this recipe until next time i'll be checking in with y'all later bye, bye.